Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the Australian dollar and the US dollar pair and the recent events stirring the markets. Greg? The Aussie dollar pair skyrocketed 1% in the last session. The RSI is giving a positive signal. NIO's stock exploded 3.4% in the last session. The Williams indicator is giving a positive signal. The dollar fell 0.7% against the yen in the last trading session. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. The pound gained 0.3% against the dollar in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a negative signal. Moving on to world financial news. The euro briefly rebounded back above parity with the dollar as the US currency's recent rally ran out of steam and investors waited to see whether Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell would sound a more hawkish tone at a symposium this week. Amazon is shuttering its Amazon Care digital healthcare service, the company said in an internal email to its employees. Amazon said that the service was no longer the right fit from a business standpoint. Oil prices rose on mounting supply tightness concerns amid disruptions to Russian exports, the potential for major producers to cut output, and the partial shutdown of a U.S. refinery. Thank you for your insightful ideas. And now, let's review today's major economic events. The U.S. personal income will be released at 12.30 GMT. The U.S. personal spending at 12.30 GMT. Germany's GFK Consumer Confidence Survey at 0600 hours GMT. The French Consumer Confidence will be released at 0645 GMT. Japan's CFTC JPYNC Net Positions at 1930 GMT. The UK's CFTC GBPNC Net Positions at 1930 GMT.